the most iconic accountants of all time. Who you got? Luis Tolley. Luis Tolley? Ghostbusters guy. I don't actually know much about him. Accountant who lived down the hall from Dana Barrett, became the Ghostbusters accountant, earned a lot of great night school and expanded his specialties as a tax attorney. I feel like attorneys switch teams to be accountants, not the other way around. Sus. Boy, the superintendent's gonna be pissed. Are you okay? Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters. Who does your taxes? <laughs> Who does? You know, taxes? Mr. Tully, you are a most fortunate. Accountant's always the opportunist. Oh, gee, I think all I got is a C to sell is acid generic. See, I can get 600 tablets of that for the same price as 300 of a name brand. I buy it. We got some of those people in my office. We got a drawer in the break room that's got all the good stuff. I think accountants only buy medicine in like 1,200 counts. Kevin Malone. Where it went. Well, it's probably just some accounting error. It is not an accounting error. Well, it could be. It is it's... not an accounting error. Well, it was not my accounting error. This is the first I've heard of it. They never tell me anything. I like it that way. <sighs> Good accountant. That ticks so many boxes. Burning a junior in front of a senior, but also peak accountant, getting yourself out of it, not getting too involved. That's actually more a senior accountant move. Everybody is going to get to know each other in the pot. I'm serious I mean, this is about like, this stuff. I'm up the this is like one of the great all-time scenes garlic in anything. And dicing whole tomatoes. I toast my own ancho chilies. <laughs> it's a recipe passed down from Malone's for generations. So accountants who have like this go-to thing they cook, I feel like that's a thing also. Okay, the professor from Money Heist. Here's the thing, this tweet went a little too mainstream. He had a bunch of non-accountants tossing ideas in. I don't know if this guy's actually an accountant. Okay, the mastermind for the heists and all that. I get that. Started planning heists at a young age. Makes everyone follow a strict schedule. Negotiation tactics, police strategy, web. I know, but he, what? He's not an accountant. Account, nope. Tax it, nope. Nope, not an accountant. Get him out. Counting mutant, I don't know what this is. Oh, Jason Bateman as Henry Weston, the straight-laced, rigid accountant hired to get Mr. McGorian's paperwork in order. Sounds promising. Co impresario, wonder aficionado, avid shoe wearer, you're here for the accounting position. Yes, Henry Weston. Mm -hmm. Name the Fibonacci He's got the look. From its 11th to its 16th integer. Hello, Grandma? Uh, 89, 144, two. Okay, so accountants are not mathematicians. Nothing to do with counting, math. 377, 610. Perfect. The number four, do we really need it? If you like squares, you do. Oh, I like squares. Good. Now, the hot dog to hot dog bun ratio. Why, for the love of mustard, are there never enough buns? Extra hot dogs. Yes, but why? In case you drop a couple. What kind of insufferable fool drops a hot dog? Anything can happen, sir. Yeah. Anything can happen. Got oh, that actuarial, true. yep. Okay, I can maybe see it. I don't know. Middle of the road accountant vibes. Jonathan Mardukas. I don't know what this is. Everybody gets all mad when I don't know what stuff is. Bounty hunter Jack Walsh enlisted in my kind of brain. Accountant Jonathan the Duke Mardukas. The accountant had embezzled 15 million from Chicago mob boss. That's cooler than making YouTube videos, okay. Just calm down. <laughs> Just relax and calm down. What are you getting so excited about? It's not... So that's the accountant guy. No. Look at that first class. I can't. No, 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 I can't. This right. is so stereotypical. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Accountants no, do no, have no, weird no, no, things. No, no. I'm but... telling you, I'm telling you, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. No, I can't. These things go down. All right, These sure. things go down, right. they go, right. it's Just too sit. big. It's too big, it, right. it can't go hey. up. Stay with that half sip, that half button down. It's got a count written all over it. Okay, Marty from Ozark. A bunch of people said this. Is Marty really an accountant though? Here we go. A financial advisor turned money launder. Financial advisor is not an accountant. There are accountants who are financial advisors, but being a financial advisor does not make you an accountant. Look at me gatekeeping. Okay, money laundering 101. Say you come across a suitcase with five million bucks in it. What would you buy? A yacht? A mansion, a sports car. Sorry, the IRS won't let you buy anything of value with it. What? So you better get that money into the banking system. But here's the problem. 
That dirty money? Get the money into the bank? It's too clean. Looks like it just came out of a bank vault. You gotta age it up, crumple it, drag it through the dirt, run it over with your car. Anything to make it look like it's been around the block. Hello! Do accountants know anything about money laundering? Not necessarily. That IRS comment also didn't make sense. I, don't, I think Marty's out. I don't think Marty is an accountant. Okay, this next one is, honestly, this one is just offensive. Count Von Count, bunch of people said it though. Fictional, mysterious, but friendly vampire-like Muppet who's meant to parody Bella Lugosi's portrayal of Count Dracula. Okay, was Count Dracula an accountant? Accountant, no. Okay, what is Count Von Count's professional pedigree? He hired Ernie to answer his telephone so that he wouldn't be bothered while looking for things to count. That's not an accountant. Let's count the bets and find out. Ah, that's one. One bet. Two. Two bets. Three. Three fabulous flyers. Ah, ah, ah. Frankly, I'm just offended that people think this is what I do. But bonus, first bit of diversity we've had, right? First non-white male. <gasps> is that why we have a diversity problem? TV and film? Always happy to click on a Chubbs Peterson clip from a stranger. I've been training to be a hockey player my whole life. Golf's no different from hockey. Requires talent. Self-discipline. Golf requires goofy pants and a fat <laughs> You should talk to my neighbor, the accountant, probably a great golfer, huge <laughs> Takes you more than a fat <laughs> to make you an iconic accountant. That's arguably the price of entry. Grady Fletcher from Murder, She Wrote. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know much about Murder, She Wrote. An amateurish but good-natured person, Grady seemed to always move from accounting job to accounting job. Honestly, in this climate with how much people are paying for new hires, I don't blame him. This guy, like, doesn't exist on YouTube. Accountant, yes. Most iconic? Okay, this, I know this is Archer. Three large fitty. His name's Cyril Benjamin. something. Three large Idiots fitty. doing idiot things because they're idiots. <laughs> yeah, we're the idiots, says the genius who got. What? Nothing. What? Cyril, what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I watched a lot of cereal on YouTube, uh, but none of it was broadcastable. If you're interested, just have the kids leave the room. It, it's a lot. Bob Cratchit? Oh, Bob Cratchit, of course, the iconic character from Charles Dixon's A Christmas Character. What? Bob Cratchit, of course, the iconic character from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Oh, Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim, most notably portrayed by Kermit the Frog. Yeah! Runs a team of bookkeepers. Notices for tomorrow. Seems legit to me. Huh. Tomorrow's Christmas, sir. Very well. You may gift wrap them. So Ebenezer Scrooge is a moneylender, and Bob runs a team of bookkeepers for him. So he's like a private senior accountant. If you please, Mr. Scrooge, it's gotten colder. Yeah. Any bookkeeping staff would like to have an extra shovel full of coal for the fire? We can't do the bookkeeping. Yeah, all of our pens have turned to inksicles. Yeah. Our assets are frozen. How would the bookkeepers like to be suddenly... I believe you convinced them once again, Mr. Scrooge. Oi, oi. Okay, the accountant. Everybody and their mom said this. I don't know, he just feels easy, Tiger. Okay, but isn't the rest of the movie about him being an auditor? That's very different than auditing. Your son is a remarkable young man. It wouldn't surprise me if he has more in common with- Kid A, eh? little radio head, that'll spice up any trailer. Thus. has highly advanced cognitive skills. Not sure how much of this movie is about a kick-ass guy with Asperger's versus a kick-ass accountant. Either way, he is about the kicking accountant I think we've got. I will give him that. Mort, Mort, Feingold, accountant for the stars. He's Mort, Mort, Feingold, celebrity accountant, doing taxes for the stars. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Okay, Kate Goslin. <laughs> Wait, are you angry at me? No, I just look like this. I'm sure this guy exists in real life, celebrity accountant, but does he have a rotary phone? What is that? Is that a 10 key? It looks like a phone, but it's got a tape. Stacks of files. I have been in offices like that. It is believable. Barney Barman from Parks and Rec. I'm putting this guy before Ben White because he's just better. Well, uh, calculator. <laughs> oh, you like that one, huh? We do not get a lot of humor here, and when we do, it's wonderful. Oh. Tad, come in here! Say it to Tad when he comes in. 
Sure you don't get a lot of humor. My problem is getting accountants to laugh, man. Whew. Well, accountants are like, that is every day in public accounting dealing with clients. Andy DeFrenzi from Shawshank Redemption. What is this ad? Ad block, please. Andy was an American banker in Portland, Maine. Okay, a banker is not an accountant. Not an accountant. Get him out. Bankers don't know the first thing about accounting. I'll tell you what they do know though is how to get under accountant's skin. With their silly little questions, their awful banking platforms. It's why I use Relay Financial. Broken bank feeds, thing of the past. User access, like a SaaS app, like it should be, simple. They've got it. Bill pay, you bet it does. You can even like create as many accounts as you want and split money based on percentages across those accounts. Easy budgeting. Take your banking into the 21st century. Check out Relay Financial. Pretty cool. So cool, Relay and I are working together on a Halloween costume contest. What could you dress up as? I don't know, any of the accountants in this video? Maybe a postcard tax churn, failed CPA exam. Just post it to Twitter with the hashtag tax or treat and I will gather a panel of experts who will savagely judge you and then announce a winner on my YouTube channel. Fun, right? So, who's gonna come out on top? Post your best costume to Twitter and tune in on November 3rd to find out. Angela Martin from The Office. Michael. Let's end up accounting. What? Old fashioned rate sales on accounting. Yeah. Follow my lead. Imagine being an accountant involved in an actual hey raid. Yikes. Hey <laughs> What's up? Hey Dwight. Ah! Ah! This is how it happens, I'm pretty sure. Ah! <laughs> Poor production assistants that had to clean all that stuff up. Angela Martin, not to be messed with. The Riddler from Batman, Riddler's an accountant, a former forensic accountant turned serial killer, terrorist, and hacker. I mean, I could see it. You're gonna die oh, alone. No, 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 no! 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 no. Oh. April 10th. Oh. April 11th. How this was supposed to go! 12th. Ah! 13th. I had it all planned out! 14th, 15th. That's, that's pretty relatable. Vesper Lynn, the lady from Casino Royale. I don't know she like managed the money, but is she an accountant? Nothing accountant, nothing tax bond. Somebody used a, a discount for past due taxes to bribe her? That's, I don't. She's not an accountant, okay? Handling money, accounting, not the same thing. Oscar Wallace from The Untouchables. I don't know anything about this. I know you're mad. Was a Treasury Department accountant from Washington, D.C. Sent to assist taking down the Chicago outfit. Unfortunately, he was killed by Frank Nitti in the process. Oh, sounds pretty B.A. though. Here we go. It's the guy in the middle of the glasses. When you get him there, if you don't answer the phone. Yeah. When we're coming, we're gonna call, we're gonna let it ring. Twice. We're gonna call from? From the corner. Anybody knocks on the door. Come out shooting, I got it. You got it? I got it. Okay. Kind of enjoy the tactical aspects of law enforcement. Is that it? Oh, yeah. It's much more diverting than accounting. Seems like a pretty cool dude if he can hang with Robert De Niro. Okay. So I Google image searched this guy. Erwin Scheister goes by the name IRS. Yes, it's me. Once again, IRS. And today's subject? Well, what else? Taxes. Because nothing in this world compares to the power of taxes. It's true. Not even death. Not even death. Because as I have demonstrated the past few weeks, uh -huh. everyone and I mean everyone, sooner or later, has to pay their taxes. What a weird thing to build a character around. It's the guy in the suspenders. Wait a sec, Scotty too hotty. Might not be able to worm his way out of this one. Oh man, big clothesline from IRS. Big IRS. I got a new favorite. Okay, Norm from Cheers, everybody said this. I didn't know he was an accountant. They moved him from being an accountant to a painter and decorator. From an accountant to a painter? Those don't seem like the same person. He loses his job in an accounting firm by defending Diane from his boss. After struggling for years as an independent accountant, eventually becomes house painter. Struggling as an accountant? <laughs> Kevin James and Hitch? He's an accountant? And otherwise mess with fate? It's best to fly under the radar. Oh yeah. Remember how big pants used to be? My company handles our finances. I'm our tax consultant. Well, I'm one of them. I'm the junior man on the account. So does she tax know consultant? Oh, no, no. Okay. I guess that's like a... I mean, that's, is that a tax preparer? Oh, 
how many cutscenes in this movie. <laughs> okay, Ben Wyatt. I know you changed your mind the last time we offered you a job, but we are just thrilled that you changed it again. Thank you, me too. This is our best office. Ah, As you can yeah, see no through does. the window, you have a great view of the billing department. <laughs> hey, Sharon! Shh! Uh, sorry! She's fun. When it comes to choosing accounting software, there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> The advantage of QuickBooks Pro is that it's easy to assemble a list of vendors. Okay, what do we got here? QuickBooks, yeah, it's QuickBooks Desktop. Well, how old is this show? That looks like an old QuickBooks Desktop. If you got QuickBooks into a mainstream show like that, props. Again, but you gotta hear what he said. <laughs> ben! Ben is here. Hi, Ben. Ted! Ben is here. Hey, it is actuarially very good to see you guys. <laughs> Dad! They like me here. You gotta hear this! Uh, I tell you, it's the other guy that's the winner. I love him. Okay, this is my own. So Will Ferrell played an IRS auditor in a movie called Stranger Than Fiction. And they actually like legit threw out code sections in the movie. It's the main character, Harold Crick, an IRS agent who begins hearing a disembodied voice narrating his life as it happens. And the whole movie plays out like as he's auditing this lady. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You miss. I understand. Oh, get bent! Tax man! Tax man! Tax man! Oh, imagine being an IRS auditor. It feels that way, like just working with clients sometimes, but whew, beats being an auditor. And every weekday for 12 years, Harold would review 7.134 tax files as a senior auditor for the Internal Revenue Service. Bring section 1.469-2BI. Section 469. Did she say seven files a day? Harold, 89 times 1,417. No! 26,000. Stop it! It's not a math thing. Okay, have you seen everything everywhere all at once? There's an IRS auditor in there. Her name's Deirder something. Do you see this? Auditor of the month. You don't get one of these. Unless you've seen a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Excuse my French. Now you may <clears throat> only see a pile of boring forms and numbers, but I see a story. Mm. That lady like goes full on attack mode later in that movie. It's weird. Okay, best picture awards. This is a wild story. <laughs> and the Academy Award He's confused. For best picture. You're He's like, you do it. Come on. La La Land. Yes. Yeah! Seem right. Yeah! Okay, so they go up and give their speech. Lots of scrambling in the background. Matt Pluff, you kick this off. And Damien Chazelle, we're standing on your shoulders. We lost, by the way, but you know. I'm sorry. No, there's a mistake. There's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Okay, the guy, the guy with the red envelope in the background there is an accountant. PwC, like, I don't know, somehow they manage the, I don't know, counting or something, because that's what we do is counting. Just to make it more confusing and to, <laughs> so the accountants gave Warren the wrong card and they apologized for it today, so it wasn't Warren Beatty's fault. And Faye Dunaway made quite a getaway. She got the hell out of it. <laughs> PwC went as far as making an apology. We sincerely apologize to Moonlight, La La Land, Warren Beatty. Oh. Talk about some bad PR. There you go, who you got? Drop a comment below. Who's your most iconic accountant? If you haven't yet, check out my Tiki Talk, where I do a bunch of bite-sized content like this. Peace up, yeah. That's what it's all about right there.